First, you can uh, in, in order for, for, uh, for Apple to actually have, have any effects on the AT, remember he told Genius to win the diamond over CJ and I'll just go to the CJ, go to the diamond first. You can go to the diamond analysis. Go to the diamond analysis. Uh, the, the impact of the, uh, sorry, the diamond analysis is the in the first the, the, the primary factor with the, the way he did some maximizing rights over rights protection. But first, there's absolutely no warrant anymore. Diamond, diamond, the diamond just simply saying that, that, that democracy, democracies won't build up hill, they won't build up web, web, uh, weapons of mass destruction, and they won't harm the real population. So if I could do it, so but first, I'm you, you, you could turn the entire the turn the turn the entire the, 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 the AC. This is going to allow dictatorships and allow uh, this is going to sorry, this is going to allow uh, uh, allow uh, allow uh, other countries to use the death penalty against their own people. This is going to actually increase uh, increase rights violations. So uh, at this point, as far as there's no warrant anymore. That, 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 that tells you as a reason as to why inherently democracies are not going to hurt the harm of our own people in the app. We're actually giving the democracies and we're giving more, uh, more countries a chance to actually harm their own people. So at that point, the diamond analysis is a value that's richer than the AC amount weighing on the AC. But uh, I'll, I'll explain in a second why I went. But go to the argument about uh, CGA. He just tells you that that transition, transition democracy will uh, model our independent judiciary and independence is key in the successful transition. However, there's absolutely no one, there's not any factor any more in there as to, as to why. Uh, this, this, there's no link in anywhere as to reason as to why this actually going to be reason for why you're going to be voting. The analysis only just simply said that they model our democracy, but remember, they're going to be modeling us. And then, then the NC, the end, you can cross up the NC analysis because this is the reason as to why if they're going to be modeling us. The, the, the United States as the hedge fund is dictated. What we have to do is dictate the moral maximum of this there are those countries as well. So it doesn't matter if they're going to be modeling our country because the US has dictated that is the moral maximum we have to do. But also, <coughs> Theory of achievement, right? And the resolution question of the Jewish the, 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 the system allocates you better than the adult system and vice versa. He violates. He's simply, he's simply saying that the resolution simply question of the similar treatment versus non-similar treatment in the negative round is talking is, is uh, the negative round is to show that uh, there, that there should be the, the uh, different treatment in terms of the death penalty, sex, and sexuality. The resolution is, is, uh, is a question just of the allocation of you and not morality separate from a tracing of the United States Jews who commit violent violence not be treated the same in, in, in the same and uh, not be treated the same in the adult criminal justice systems and so in and so far as representatives are treated the now we're acting preceding the preceding the representational phrase in the criminal justice system. Given the nature of what the, what the resolution is asking us, which is the criminal justice system. That allocated to serve. Moreover, the resolution already was that no rules have been violated, which is evident from the fact that the Jewish government charged for deferred doing so. That's because the resolution, because just as the question of how we have to treat someone who violates moral rules, the resolution is purely a question of justice, and the allocation of you and all the arguments are not relevant. You're going to receive benefits, which are really prepared for the non-directly correlated to our ability to directly interpret the resolution, and in support of this is true. The resolution 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 is true. The even if the resolution does use, uh, even if uh, the, the term power charge does not necessarily apply to Jewels, if he's allowed, if he's allowed to to uh, to change to, to change the uh, uh, if, if he's allowed to change the adult criminal justice system as a way to implement the death penalty, right? We should implement the death penalty in the adult criminal justice system. Then I can change the rhetoric of the way we we utilize uh, we we use it in the Jewish system as well. So at that point, if he's going to be if he's going to be permitting or changing the way we 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 evaluate the resolution or we evaluate the the, the two systems, I can change it as well to say that we should charge them in different in different sides. But go to the group the determines argument or the argument about go to the EI and stuff. But for some, uh, that penalty is not that penalty is not actually going to be deterred. Uh, the the Birmingham the Birmingham new states. The most interesting argument against capital punishment as a deterrent is that the death the penalty states that generally have higher rates of murder than states without the death penalty. In 2003, for example, the murder rate in the 12 states without the death penalty was 4.1 for every 100,000 people. In 38 states, the death penalty murder rate was 5.91, 44 percent higher even among the death penalty states. Those who those that carry out uh, carry out executions the most tend to have the highest murder rate. Texas, within the, uh, Texas with, with the nation's busiest death chamber, had a murder rate of 2004 of 6.1 for 100,000 people. According to FBI statistics, Alabama with the nation's six highest death penalty rate recorded number. Uh, uh, the recorded number of uh, 5.6 in 2004, and conversely, the uh, three states with the lowest murder rates in 2004 were Maine, North Dakota, New Hampshire, each at 1.4 per 100,000 100, people. So, you know, this is true that uh, this, this mitigates the entire of the AC odds, but then you go to the Rakowski analysis. 
The reference the analysis says that individuals would inherently, would inherently choose usually because they, because they have the high probability that they're a liar that would be maximized the best, of, that would maximize their interest. There's absolutely no reason as to why this is inherently going to be the case. You need to provide actual psychological analysis to you as to telling you that that tells you as to why people value their life above, above all else. Right? Yeah, that they are inherently going to be valued at it, uh, to a sufficient degree to uh, over other moral theories. There's absolutely no reward in Rakowski analysis that he put the governmental actor in our argument. He, he tries to justify that the government, uh, the government because the government is active, they should be abiding by some sort of society, uh, social conduct hour. But the government would be anti going to take this out because anti explains to you the, na the nature of how we are valued morality, how we value moral questions, and that inherently means that Includes the eight, uh, takes out the government uh, or also. All right, everyone, right? Uh, do I have everything you read? I do, right? Yeah. Did you read everything? Oh, I, I have like a little card thing. That card. I, I don't need to set okay. evidence. Could you mark what you read out of the shelf, please? So, we understand what was there. Okay, so you read that. Great. Everyone right? Yeah. Your interpretation is, the resolution is a question if the juvie system allocates due better than the adult system and vice versa. B, the violation is, they talk about morality and how we have a moral obligation I to do. Stuff. That's not so the, what's the violation? The violation is saying that the AC uh, is not a comparison of systems. It is a comparison of the way we treat people, not inherently comparing the merits of the systems, but rather so you are comparing yeah. the method of okay. treatment as an idea. You don't ever actually systems. ask me the, to defend that comparison of systems, right? You can I say that Crossex should check, and I should have asked him in Crossex. I will answer the right. What do you mean? The AC says, I reserve the right to clarify. Do you answer in the last page that okay. I can reserve the right to clarify? Okay, a few things. Do you, First of all, no, I'll, I'm, no, gonna, I'm going answer, to answer the sure. question, but just give me a second. Uh, saying that I reserve, reserve the right to clarify uh, is not a sufficient reason as to why I have to ask you an infinite amount of questions in cross -ex, right? But secondly, I would say that uh, I did, to an extent, ask you about your advocacy, but my, my questions were phrased as, what is the nature of the AC advocacy? I did try to give you the right to yeah, clarify. And, 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 I, if, and if you and don't think that you sufficiently Jared, told me or explained to me, I, I don't know that's my fault. Say, I would like to be as fair as possible. Sure. What would you like me to defend? Would you like me I to said defend whole right. Would you like me to defend whole rights? Sure. You can make right. the argument. You can make the argument that oh by giving me questions. So because, I didn't, because I didn't predict what you wanted me to defend, that's the violation. No, all right, there are a few problems here, Alec. That's fine. There's, I, I understand. Saying that is not sufficient why to mitigate the argument. Why does moral realism generate a prescriptive norm of what is moral? Right, why does looking to what the dominant group thinks? Okay, there are a few What if they're wrong? Okay, well, the point is that they're not wrong. My argument is saying, uh, I began to utilize the metaphysical theory of moral realism, saying that there are objective moral facts. The argument that Riss talks about. Why does it follow that because there are objective moral I'll, facts, I'll uh, explain the them. dominant group should yeah. be able to oppress the smaller group? I will explain. Stop saying you will explain and answer the question. I can't answer the question without explaining. Fine. It's a long That's part. Fine. Fine. Part. fine. Answer. Okay, answer. cool. So the analysis in Riss says that um, because. The, uh, it says political regimes right. use moral language. Right, they use moral Why language. Why does that that ought to be the moral language? Or that something like right. genocide is acceptable because the powerful. <coughs> That's when the burden analysis below you. the card comes into play, Adler, which I'll explain if you give me a second. Right? There's analysis under that which sure. explains that. Sure, go yeah, for it. Okay, cool. So the argument in risk says that because political regimes use moral language from moral language, it means I'm just trying to run so I cannot. Right? Right? And then you slow down. I didn't understand. Okay. Risk says that because political regimes use moral language and they try to promote moral beliefs, it means I'm ensuring their own survival. Unless we have some sort of alternate way that grounds in sort of transcendent what else, Using that language is bad. All right. You're, I, I think you're misunderstanding the way the argument functions. Okay. This is a meta, this is, this functions above like what you call bad. Sure. My argument is that if the U.S. doesn't need to be grounded in descriptive facts about the world. My no, not about the world, about the way the U.S. does things. Why? Because the U.S. is the hegemon. That just begs the question of why it matters to morality that the U.S. is the hegemon. No. What normative ethic do you derive from this meta ethic, Jared? Okay, the argument explains that. I don't think, all right, don't think of it as in the traditional meta ethic leads to an ethic test. The mm -hmm. argument explains as to the way we determine morality is by the head. What is the because context United States of morality? I'll get to explain more about it, right? Could you pass me? Yeah, yeah. and see. Oh. I keep explaining, I guess. Okay, cool. So, the question is about the meta ethic and, things, and how the United States dictates morality. The argument in the NC says, that the hegemon is the uh, soul, is the authority on morality, or what people ought to do, or what we ought to do, right? At that point, insofar as the U.S. is the hegemon, the U.S. dictates morality.
what impacts matter under the NC. <laughs>